I absolutely love using YouTube, both when I'm teaching languages, but also when I'm studying them. And what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how you can combine YouTube videos with two free AI technologies that are super simple to generate loads of learning content and loads of learning activities around a YouTube video. So this is brilliant if you're a teacher because you can generate content around your favorite YouTube videos, but also brilliant if you're a student if you wanna generate language learning content for yourself. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please comment on it, please share it, but most of all, please join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So I'm gonna give you a quick tip when it comes to searching for videos on YouTube that you might want to use in your language teaching. If Let's just do a quick, church, ch a quick search for shopping in English. So let's imagine that that's the subject that we wanna build some content around. A little tip, if you click over here on filters, you can kind of choose specific videos that you might want to watch. So for example, you might want to watch a video that's only perhaps four minutes long or perhaps only four to 20 minutes, or you might want videos that have got subtitles, okay? I'm gonna choose videos that are only four to 20 minutes, and that's gonna kind of reduce the number of videos that I can choose from, and that really helps me. And I'm also gonna click on that filter again and choose videos that have got subtitles. Now, let's just imagine, for, very, for simplicity's sake, that we like this video here, and we wanna use this video and build series of activities around this video. The next thing we need to do is to click on the share button and copy the link because we're gonna put this in a free AI tool that's gonna to allow us to generate the transcript and then make lots of activities. Now I want you to come over to a technology called turboscribe.ai. It's completely free. Create an account. I use my Google account to create my account and then click on open dashboard and what you're gonna do is you're gonna paste in the link to that video, it's gonna extract the whole transcript and it will do a much better job than YouTube's auto transcript. But then from that, you can generate lots of different activities. So you can be watching the video and have comprehension questions or perhaps quiz questions or pull out the most important vocabulary or make a gap fill activity, etc. Make a summary. So we, all we need to do is click on transcribe file click on this button here at the top, paste in the link to the video and click on import. Now that will bring the video into the system. That's part one. And then part two is click on this part here to choose the right, the right language. I use this a lot, of course, for studying the languages that I'm studying, which is Polish, but I'm doing this demonstration in English. Click on whale, that does the best job, and then click on transcribe, and off it goes. It will extract from the voice the transcription of the video. So don't worry if the video that you're working with has got subtitles or hasn't got subtitles. Now it works fairly quickly. You are limited to a video of up to 30 minutes, but I would definitely not advise you when studying languages to be using such long videos anyway. I would suggest a video if you can of around 10, 12 minutes maximum. Obviously depends on your level. If you're lower level, you might even choose a video of just one or two minutes. I use this technology as you can see all the time. I absolutely love it. I can see now it's already transcribing my video. Now once we've got the transcription there's loads of things we do because we can click on that transcription and we've got the transcription here and of course we can select words and perhaps put them into Google uh, Translate if we don't understand particular vocabulary so it's a great way of checking out vocabulary. One of, the first things I like to look for when I One of the other interesting thing is that it also extracts the audio from the YouTube video. So what you can do actually is play the audio and follow along. Walk into the entrance of a mall is the map and the list of stores. And I love the way that it marks what it's reading out. So as it plays the audio, it marks on the transcript where you are. I find this very helpful. Now, if you come over here on the right-hand side, one other little tip before I show you how you generate all your games is that you've got a download audio button, and that can also be very useful. The transcriptions are not always gonna be absolutely perfect. So if there is something wrong in the transcription, though they are very good, then you can click on edit transcript. 
If you've got a really clear voice in the video and there isn't much background noise, often the transcriptions will be perfect. But occasionally, of course, if there is interference in the background, it will affect the quality. Now, how do we make lots of activities from this content? With two more button clicks, we'll do that. So there's one thing I need you to do, come over to the right hand side and what I want you to do is to click on download docs. So click on that button there. And when it, when it opens up the document, click on enable editing. You're gonna need that, okay? And then the next thing I need you to do is click on file and click on save as, and I would save it on the desktop of your computer because it's this file and from this file, and I'm just gonna call this shopping, that you will be able to then put it into a large language model and it will generate lots of activities. Now I'm gonna use a free one called Copilot, but any of the large language models that allow you to upload a document will immediately allow you to generate all different types of activities from the transcript. Just a super quick break from the video, just to say if you do like the video, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There are loads more free videos on the site. I specialize in making videos that show language teachers how to use technology. One other thing, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, then you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the key technologies that we can use in language teaching. There really are no tricks, nearly everything that I highlight is free. That was all, let's get back to the video. So I'm gonna use Copilot for this part of the activity because if you click on Copilot, and of course most people, if you've got Windows, you've got Copilot for free. If you open up Copilot, you will be need to log into your Microsoft account. Then you just simply click on this plus button here and the one that you want is upload. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload that file, that shopping file into Copilot. And now I'm gonna ask Copilot to generate. So I'm gonna say, can you generate a summary of the transcript and hopefully it's going to do that it's going to generate for me a summary so that's absolutely brilliant okay that is really useful because you might have listened to the video studied some of the vocabulary and now you've also got a summary of that okay now there is a really interesting technology called Love Voice, and I'm gonna put the video on the screen now in the corner, where you could actually copy, just by clicking on that, that button here, copy that transcript, paste it into Love Voice, and then you could have that transcript read out in a perfect accent. And that works in multiple languages, and it's something I often do. So I've put that video on the screen now. You might want to watch that. I'll also put it in the description below, lovevoice.com. Absolutely brilliant. Now, another thing. Let's try another thing. Can you make some true or false questions based on the transcript? Can you make some true or false questions based on on the transcript. Now this is really how I study Polish. I literally choose a video topic, generate the transcript as you saw, I generated many, and then I generate activities that I wanna do to see how much I've understood. Particularly useful is as well is, can you provide me with 10 useful, let's put in, let's say, no, eight useful collocations from the transcript. And I can carry on like this and build up all different types of activities. It can be true or false, it could be multiple choice questions. So we've got some really ones here. Give me a thumbs up, find the particular yeah, traditional type of store, food court, go inside, hair salon, movie theater, etc. Obviously, some are gonna be better than others. I'm not trying to say this is absolutely perfect, but if you're working on your own, or you wanna generate content around a YouTube video, then this can be really, really interesting. So look at this example here. Remember earlier on, I asked to produce a summary from Copilot from the transcript, and here what I've done is I've asked them to turn that into a close activity. So I've simply written, can you take the summary of the video and then create a close activity? 
and it's generated that for me. A good thing is as well is to ask it to provide you with the answers. It just makes it easier when you go to correct the students. Remember, all these activities that you're generating, you can always copy them as well. Now, this is the sort of thing that I do when I'm working in Polish, okay? So building up a whole range of activities, multiple choice questions, summaries, um, for example, selecting the right vocabulary, etc. And this is what I've tried to demonstrate to you today, that just with these two free tools connected with YouTube, you can build up a whole series of activities. Okay, okay really hope, hope you like the video. video. And, and if, if you, you do, please, please come, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialise in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14-part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube tab channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.